Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session we are going to see one more example in counter. So, it's a car parking example. So, let's see about this. There is a gate to entry over here. Okay, and this is the parking. Sorry. And this is the parking slot. And we have an entry gate and we have an entry sensor over here. So, the car is entering this way. And uh, this is the exit. And we have one more extra exit sensor over here. Alright. And this is the parking space. So car parking. Each time a car enters. PLC automatically add it to total sum of the total car. You know other car found in the garage. Each car that comes out will automatically be taken off. Comes out in the sense it will when it exit. Automatically one value go off. When 10 car park. A signal will turn on signalizing that the garage is full. And notifying other drivers not to enter because there is no space available. This is the perfect example for counter, right? So, there is a uh, occupancy of only 10 car. So, we are every time uh, uh, in a car entering the parking slot, we are counting how many car has entered. Suppose if the parking is filled, how come uh, the, the driver who is entering can get to know? So, we can use this uh, you know uh, kind of uh, automation in this place right so that we can restrict the entry we can uh, alert them you can go to the next lot or you can uh, there is no space like that we can intimate them instead of instead they we can allow them and they come inside and there is no space and there is no way to go out so it's a bit tough right so uh, instead of this you can intimate the driver in the entry gate itself so let's see how to do this in CX programmer. Alright. So, I have an entry sensor here. So, now I have to count up. In some case, I have to count down also. Correct. Because whenever the car is entering, I will be counting up. And car exiting, I will be counting down. What I have to do? I have to use the same counter for up and down. For both we have a counter which is called as reversible counter. So, let us take that counter and give the name for the counter. And uh, we have to set the value like how many cars we can allow like that. So, counter is 0. And uh, we can uh, have 10 cars, right? They have given 10 cars in the example. This hash. Yeah. So, I am giving 10 here. Okay. So, totally 10 cars can allow. But, I hope you have remembered when we were discussing about this reversible counter. This will take 1 plus. So, if you want to restrict the 11th car means you have to give 11 here. So, I am editing this 10 as 11. So, add you know horizontal line to join this up counter because entry is the up counter and exit is the down counter. And uh, you can move this to the second place and you can join them. So, this is the down counter and uh, we have a reset, reset contact also. Done. So, connect this. All right. And they want some indication that counter is full, no? So, I am taking the counter's contact, counter's feedback. This is the counter feedback. And I am giving that to some display or lamp. Which will be telling that uh, parking is full. Connect. That's it. Connected. Let's go online. Okay. 
all right right now the first car is entering so it started counting one one car is inside and the second one and the third car is also entering now so three cars are totally there so entry sensor is like a pulse input it will give only one pulse now one car is exiting so now the total number of car inside the garage is two okay so now i am turning on the entry sensor for some some more time look there are five cars now so sixth car is entering seventh car eighth and ninth one so now we have to allow the tenth one also so 10 car totally 10 cars over there all right now the 11th car is entering so that time we are displaying wait 11 11 car is entered so now it's showing so it have to cross the limit so instead of 11 we have to give 10 over there so that it will restrict the 11th car okay so instead of giving the PV value as 11, we have to give 10. So let's change this value to 10. So instead of 11, give 10. So let's go online. So the 10 has reached. The parking is full. So now you if you exit. So, it will start reducing. So, now 9 cars are totally inside. So, don't confuse with this value. Once the counter is full, it will turn it as 0. Okay. If you reduce the counter, it will count, stop, uh, you know, start counting down. 10, 9, 8, like that it will go. So, now 8 are there. If one more is entering, it will be 9. Now again 10. So 10 has entered. Okay. So 10 have to be allowed. That's what it is allowing. Now if the limit is crossed, it will turn on the lamp which is telling the parking is full. Alright. So it will not turn on exactly at 10. Okay. If you see the normal counter, it will turn on when that particular output, the particular PV has reached. But our up down counter will be exceeding. One exceeding means it will give the output. Alright. So this is the perfect example to understand the up down counter. And this is the last example for counter instruction in CX programmer. So I will meet you all in the next session with another interesting topic. So before winding up the session, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.